<laughs> hey, welcome to Beer and Sunshine. Usually we're live at this time, but unfortunately the nerds had to go and do a Megacon. So we are going to show you footage that we gained when we were downtown Clearwater for the inaugural downtown Clearwater Beer and Music Fest. So sit back, grab yourself a beer, and enjoy some of the footage. It's been a rough work day, the bounce is busting your ass, all you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine, life can get you down, but you can take all the lids, nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine, cannot fizz, oh it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan, grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand with some beer and sunshine, oh oh dear. Sunshine, yeah, beer and sunshine. We have Kristen, right, from Crooked Thumb. So, um, whereabouts are you set up down here? So, we are all the way down closest towards the Starbucks on, uh, oh, okay. what, I'm not sure what road it is actually, but yeah, we're all the way down on the opposite end of the stage, but closest to the Starbucks. Oh, so there's another stage down at the other well, side? Well, this one, yeah, right, yeah. Awesome. And, uh, how many, um, Taps did you bring? I have two. I have two brands with me today. I brought our uh, Shade Tree IPA, which is more of like a West Coast style IPA, and I have our Grandpa Jack's Pilsner, which is a German style Pilsner. Nice and light. Good day for nice. drinking a Pilsner. Yeah. Where, where is a Crooked Thumb Brewery? Uh, we're in Safety Harbor. Safety yeah, Harbor. So okay. Yeah, Safety Harbor, Florida. We're right off of Main Street and 10th Avenue. So. All right. We're going to use this to any breweries that come and, and talk to us. We're going to use it to pressure them into giving us a commitment for being on our show. When are you going to be on our show? When? When. Whenever you pick, need me to be. Friday night, 8 o'clock. <laughs> yep. You have to coordinate with Christine. Exactly. Okay. So who... Yeah, because I, I've sent them an email and they and they were all about it. But I mean, I realize that Friday nights is a busy night. Yeah, but they're one, but. yeah. But I'm sure that there's somebody like like you yeah. that they could send to represent them and be on our live show. Would you be up for that? Yeah, of course. All I can right. do that. That'd be awesome. And and bring some beer for us. You know it. <laughs> there's not many places I go without beer these days. Exactly. <laughs> You might be my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's probably maybe 30,000 people watching this, and they just heard you say you're going to be on our show. So Crooked Thumb's in, folks. Yes, okay. Crooked Thumb is in. Woohoo! We have we have witnesses. Yeah. If you don't if you don't show up, they'll all be coming to your brewery and saying, "Listen, you said you'd be on the show." Fair enough. You gotta, <laughs> Christina, you got to hook her up with a card. I am going to hook her up with a card. That's awesome. Sweet. We're we're all right. Awesome. Oh, I think our job is done here. Our job is done. Thank you, Kristen. Right, you're welcome. We'll make sure everybody comes down and visits you and drinks your beer. Sounds is, good. Is there anything you want people to know about Crooked Thumb? Yes. Um, so we are the first and only brewery in Safety Harbor currently. So please come and check us out. We love new people, and we do a lot of events and fun activities all the time. So Sweet. Yeah, awesome. The best way to find out what's going on at the brewery is liking us on Facebook. We post everything from new beers to events to anything yoga whatever's going on that week so i love yogurt it's delicious yogurt <laughs> it has a lot of culture <laughs> yes thank you and we're and we're down here live until four o'clock if anybody wants to come down and see us we're gonna go um to break and we're gonna loop some of our um, beer and sunshine shows that are live and then we'll come back when we have somebody else to speak with and we're back live at the Downtown Clearwater Beer and Music Festival, and we have grabbed Renee from Paradise. Hey. Thank you for coming. And what is it that you actually do for Paradise Brewing? So I do everything outside the brewery. I do all the sales and marketing outside the brewery. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. And you know what? We've got 30-some odd thousand people watching us, and we want a commitment from Paradise that you will actually be a part of our live show. I will try my best. Okay. Well, you we'll know. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take that. And actually, she was really nice. She brought us some beer. So yeah. what's Tommy drinking? Uh, Tommy's actually drinking not my beer. He's drinking uh, Tim and the Brewing Company's Old Elephant Foot I think. Did you, get, you guys obviously brought beer with you today, yeah, right? Yeah, two beers that we brought today are actually the Clearwater Honey Cream Ale, which is a hybrid between an ale and a lager. Oh, and yummy. It's local honey and Florida orange peel in it. Um, and we also brought our strawberry blonde, which is now year round, and we use over 300 pounds of Plant City strawberry. I wonder that, that was That's that nice. girl that was talking to us earlier. I forgot her name. She's very pretty. The blonde girl is sitting here. That's what she was drinking. It looks crazy refreshing, right? It, is crazy it looks like soda. Refreshing. 
It oh, is. I want some yeah. of that. Yeah. Where are you guys located over here today? So we are actually at the uh, Great Bay Craft Track. So right at this intersection right by you guys. Awesome. Oh, oh right, right by us. Right nice. Right. <laughs> Good to know. Give me some of that <laughs> strawberry blonde ale. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so um, we definitely want to do something with you guys. I have I have reached out, and they seem interested. We would love to have you guys. You guys always have awesome events going on. Um, do you have any um, upcoming events that maybe you want to tell the viewers about that you that you guys are putting on? Um, I'm not sure what, exactly what's going on right now, but I know everything gets posted up on our social media, on Facebook, and on our website. Every Friday, we do Friday fill-up, where we have a food truck, and you can actually growl or any beer on our menu, even the limited releases that are small match. So, you, that's would you, my favorite day of the week to go to the brewery. So. Yeah, on Fridays? Yeah. So maybe maybe one Friday night, you know, because you guys are in uh, Feather Sound, you said, right? Yeah, we're in the Carillon Feather Sound neighborhood. Right, which is like the Largo area. Yep. Basically just over the Howard Franklin Bridge. If you're coming from Tampa, you're just over the Howard Franklin Bridge. Once you get to the other side, that, that whole area is right there. Do you guys, are there any other breweries or any other cool places to check yeah, out there? most definitely. Um, we call it the Bermuda Triangle within uh, a three mile radius. The Bermuda Triangle? Uh, Love it. Uh, That's right. cool. Yeah, you have us, uh, Rat Brewing Company, which is three miles down the road. Awesome. And then we also have Big Storm. They're new facilities right in our neighborhood, too. That's Man, you, you guys need to do t-shirts with us because I can see it now. Get lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Yes. Come to Paradise Brewing. Oh man, that would be so idea. cool. We got to do that awesome. shirt for well, sure. Renee, thank you so much oh, for taking it. I know that yeah. you guys are busy, but we appreciate you talking with us. And uh, we'll be back again with another guest in a few minutes, live from the downtown Clearwater Beer Fest. We'll see you later. Thanks. Cheers. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. And we're live from the downtown Clearwater <laughs> Brew and Beer Fest, and we have Bill Lindville. I had your card because I'm just so mesmerized by those baby blue eyes, I'm telling you. Bring me some wine and some baby blues, I'm done. <laughs> and Bill, Bill is a, Bill's from uh, Aspirations Winery. Yes. It's a Clearwater Micro Winery. Headaches not included, Headaches it not says. Headaches not included. Yeah. I don't Present know if you guys can see that. Present wine tasting. Absolutely. I'm on it. Tell us, tell us about it, Bill. Yes. Where's uh, the Aspirations Winery? What, well, what are you guys all about? We're, we're currently located uh, right at Drew and 19 behind Clearwater Toyota. Uh, we're a little tucked in, hidden back there in an industrial complex. Uh, that is our production facility. Um, we produce over currently over 60,000 bottles a year. We do traditional reds, whites, as well as fruit-infused wines, and we specialize in low-sulfite wines. We specialize in low-sulfite wines, so that's why we have the uh, headaches not included. So uh, the sulfites are what you have to dump in the wine to uh -huh. allow it to age. Well, the, the downside of that is some people have side effects from right. that, which the uh, most common one's known as a wine headache. Where, where do you guys make your wine? Where's your uh, your, your it's vineyard? All, or, it's all or made right there on site. We've got everything but the vineyard. Uh, so it's really neat. We have it brought all nice. into us as just the juice. And then we start with the fermentation process and go forward from there using our own recipes. So it cool. takes about six to eight weeks, depending on the wine type. Uh, and the wines that we see right here in front of us are, are wines that we sell out in different retail locations throughout Florida. Oh, so well, you can, you can like, get these at like a local retail absolutely we have a little uh, tasting room and retail shop attached to the winery so you can come directly to us but uh, we're fortunate enough to have our products sold throughout Florida so um, we just got swamp juice as a matter of fact and all the total wines throughout the whole state yeah of tell, tell so us really tell exciting. us about these wines here I saw swamp juice what type of wine is swamp juice well swamp juice is the one everybody likes to talk about um, <laughs> that one is our uh, traditional dry red and okay. it's a blend of uh, Bordeaux it's a cab based wine okay and we uh, just like everything else start with the juice and then go with the fermentation process and go forward from there the other ones that we see here are our four most popular fruit infused wines mm -hmm. you can really just think of those as different flavored sangrias uh, but yes, we have I a, love sangria. damn it yeah you can't go wrong with these these are ready-made sangrias you, you can have it, little do you have any of that that you could give us like some samples we most certainly <laughs> we got some lot ice of, maybe we can certainly work that out <laughs> my beer my, my beer is getting warm <laughs> my beer is getting warm and uh, pretty soon it's going to be gone and, and sangria uh, sounds nice yeah, so i could replace definitely. it with some ice so, cold sangria Agree, nice. So if somebody wanted to set up a winery tour, do you guys do winery tours as Most well? Most certainly. Matter of fact, we're ranked number nine on TripAdvisor on top things to do in Clearwater. So really? We're really excited about that. And it's just That's because nice. of the tours and tastings. Really? Nice. So on Fridays and Saturdays, we do a tour and tasting experience where folks can come in. We put a lot of uh, cheese and fruits and chocolates and stuff to kind of munch on. You'll get to come in and sample a lot of different wines. Um, you'll be exposed to at least 20 different wines. Do you guys do a Chardonnay? We do a Chardonnay. Most I got to bring Mrs. Thompson. Yep. Mrs. Thompson. 
we've got to come drink some wine. We do a really we do a nice wine tour. Uh, unique Chardonnay blend, too, that she may enjoy. Oh, really? But we'd like to say we've got a wine for everybody. We okay. even make a couple of dessert wines. Nice. But the tours and tastings are about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, you can make reservations by going to our website. It'll tell you the times um, that are available. And then from there, you can just call or email us to make your reservation. And we do uh, uh, deals and stuff like that through your typical um, uh, deal sites. And, and but what's your, Bill, what's your role there? Are you, are you one of the principals? Did you start this thing? Or are you just the face of the, you're just a handsome face that goes out and, and drags in the customers? I, I wish that's all I had to do, but I am, <laughs> I, I am the owner, um, the janitor, and, and all of the above. True but, entrepreneur. Uh, I like uh, it. Absolutely. We started, um, you know, we, we literally took our entire life savings and bought this business back in 2010. I love those stories. Uh, yeah. So we are family owned and operated. Uh, we've uh, been fortunate to grow to six employees now. Uh, and like I said, we sell in different retail locations. Um, where, yeah, where can people find the wines? Well, right around here, uh, everybody knows Lucan's. Um, so we're sold at the different Lucan's locations. Okay. And then really at this point with the, dis the distributor we're in with, um, if you go into your local store and they're not carrying us, uh, please do ask How about, us how about Sarasota? I live in Sarasota. Do you have um, any distribution down there? We do have uh, Siesta Key Tropical Wines out in Siesta Key sells okay. our product. And then Mixon Fruit Farms there in Bradenton's not too far away. Yeah, Mixon, okay. Uh, but we're looking to expand in that area most certainly. Um, the fruit infused wines are the ones that are uh, really, really getting us out in a lot of places along with that swamp juice. Our category five is a really, really unique one. That one has banana, pineapple, mango, guava. So, Holy, and it's sets on the fruit. Riesling. Wow. So it's, it's category five because we got fruit, four fruits sitting on one wine. So there's your five. Nice. And then we have our poolside red, white, and blush. The poolside red is a blackberry Merlot. Poolside white is a strawberry Riesling. Raspberry white Zen uh, is the poolside blush. You could take a little bit of club soda, add in there. You got an instant uh, spritzer. Nice. Or you can take your favorite vodka, about an ounce of that, four ounces of this, a little yeah. bit of tonic water, throw that on ice, and you got a great drink during and the what, day when it's hot outside. And what, what are your what are your bottles? What's an average price somebody would pay for a bottle of your wine? What they're do they gonna, retail for? They're going to retail anywhere from ten ninety nine up to fourteen ninety nine, depending Jeez, on the location. That's, what? That's not bad. Budget so, friendly you wine. You had said that um, you bring the juice in and then. You go from then you ferment there. So Correct. there's no wine, there's no like, grape stomping. <laughs> no, you, you no, can't see her feet. Wait, 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 Lucy's doing the motion like she's crushing grapes with her feet. <laughs> Lucy is crazy. All she's from Canada. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Yeah, we get Lucy and her friends to stomp the grapes before they come in. No, I want in. I want in on that party. I want to be on the grape stomping party. Well, well. Well, there's no grape stomping party. We already no. covered that to me. We, we, I just know, want to we, walk in the juice. I want to walk in the juice. How about well, I prefer the, the drinking part of the party. So. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. We'll just go with that then. That's fine. Cool. I know, but I'm just envisioning the whole, you know, from, <laughs> the from beginning to end experience of stomping your own grapes. And... Well, when you come, and come into Aspirations Winery, you are truly going to really get a behind the scenes look at how it's done. Uh, a lot of people will say that they've been to the big wineries out in California and all that. And just because they're so big, they don't really get that. That um, true, like hands-on mm -hmm. uh, uh, tour that you'll get at Aspirations right. Winery. Right. We're going to take you through every step of the process, and then we're going to give you a demonstration of a lot of those too. So. All right. So, so um, everybody knows you can find them at AspirationsWinery.com. Um, you can email them at info at AspirationsWinery.com, or you can call them at 727-599. Wine, W-I-N-E. Yeah, most certainly we're on Facebook, so it's Aspirations yep. oh, Winery. Uh, on Facebook, that's And yeah, awesome. you can follow us on Twitter at Aspirations Wine. Nice. Cool. Well, we'll make sure uh, we like your page and stuff like that. You know, you reciprocate you the same. We've, yes. we've we already like done you. that. You like us and yeah. we like you. Yeah, share, share this video. We'll put it up on our Facebook and yeah, stuff like that. this is awesome. Sounds but, awesome. Uh, we'll have Thank to pop you. in for a tour sometime. Yeah, uh -huh. please do. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, you know, if you want to bring some of this by on some ice for us, <laughs> That would be fantastic. Sorry, Budweiser. I think I can make that happen. Sorry, Budweiser. <laughs> All right. Well, I can make that happen. Thank you so much, Bill, for talking Absolutely. with us. And thank you guys for watching. We will be back yeah. with somebody else live here at the Downtown Clearwater Music and Beer Fest. Yeah, come on down here. Woo! Come on down camera. What's up, guys? We're back Woo! here at the Downtown Festival here in Clearwater with our All friends uh, Tien and her husband Orlando. Nice. Where are you guys? Where are you guys from? Are you guys uh, local here in Clearwater? From uh, Trinity. From Trinity. Okay. From Trinity. Nice. Sure. Well, I see you guys have um, matching yeah. escape. We're, we're representing, representing the local escape. brewery. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And I and I heard too that you guys are um, <laughs> you frequent uh, Rebel Dog, which is the place that we like. Oh dear. Yeah, we know a dude named James. 
Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to James. <laughs> we were just there last uh, night. We were just there last night. They yeah. released their uh, I cream a genie. Uh, I cream a genie. I was gonna yeah. say cream of some young guy, but that's no. That's that's a different. That's uh -huh. totally different beer. Totally different. Yeah. So the, Orlando, the, that Chinese brewery. Um, what brought you guys down here today? Well, you know, we knew the beer fest was going on. We know uh, Andy with uh, House of Beers and our friends Robert and Misha are beer drinkers that are nearby. It's and it's Misha's birthday, too. Happy so. birthday, Misha! Happy Woo! birthday! <laughs> Lots of birthdays going on. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This is a good day. Yeah. Really good day. Hot day. It's Super. Hot this day. sun is nice. uh, unrelenting, huh? Yes. Okay. So are there any um, any I know, I, that you wanted to check out today? Um, I honestly did not see the list, so we started off with uh, Crooked Thumb. Okay. Yeah, we had, we had Crooked Thumb on here talking yeah. with us. Yeah, good people. Um, and yeah, just start working our way down here, and we saw you guys. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. We appreciate we you stopping by. Hell yeah. And it, so is Escape like your is that your go-to brewery? Is that yeah, they're right in front of my yeah they're they're, they're in my neighborhood and thank God because yeah it's good they, they make good beer. Have we stuff. met Have we met them Escape? Do you guys know them? Well, I've met Escape. You've yeah, met them right? I don't know if the, I have. They were at the last beer fest over in Dunedin. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've, yeah. So I probably met them too. Yeah. I just I have a terrible memory. I forget everything. Well, you know Pasco. We, we try to you know keep it local. Those guys. It, it, and, that, uh, that, loop and, that Dunedin uh, festival though is put on by the same people right. here, which yeah. is Dunedin House of Beer. Rick from Dunedin House of Beer. That festival was amazing. This so far is, is is great. It's fantastic. A lot of fun. This is good. The first time doing it here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I like what I see so far. I think well, as the, as the day goes on, it'll get it'll get a little busier. Oh yeah. And this, is, and this is their first one. And I mean, I've seen the people walking by, and it's great. And I think that you know maybe it'll be a yearly thing now. And, Hopefully uh, they'll get some breweries to move into the area. Yeah, absolutely. And they yeah, can we'll, have like more festivals like this throughout the year. It's, it's there's a lot of new ones absolutely. in the area. There's there's so many new ones. It seems like <laughs> <laughs> today there's a new one. <laughs> no, it'll it's definitely make me come So what do you what do you guys what do you guys do? Are you in the uh, in the beer industry at all or, or no no? What do you guys no, do? I'm just a, I'm I'm a drinker. A teacher. No, he's a, a drinker. drinker and a teacher. You're a professional like drinker. That's, that's Is that like, your job? Hey, wannabe that's like, connoisseur. Okay. That's like that's like me and my wife. She's a teacher. I'm a drinker. There you go. Excellent. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. I, I'm just I'm not really the beer drinker, but I've been trying more and more. Are you Tian? Are you more of a, a wine person yeah, or? Tropical white sangria over here. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. From Bill. Bill was just yeah, over here talking to us. Yeah, we had him on here too. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? I like the high octane. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. That's nice. Well, yeah. thank you so much for oh, um, stopping you. and talking with us. And we're gonna go um, show our show from last night, and then we'll be back live again here from downtown Clearwater. Be right back. Peace.
Jackie Skelton from JR World Travel here. If you travel, you need a licensed professional travel consultant, not a computer. Your licensed professional consultant can get you more for your time and your money. Value for your money and experience, not marketing salesmanship. When you're sick, you call the doctor. When you need legal advice, you call an attorney. So the next time you want to go on any type of travel, call your licensed professional travel consultant who actually represents you. We specialise in group travel, family reunions, weddings, to escorting large groups or making special arrangements for the disabled. Please call 844 249 0190. We are a full service travel consultancy offering worldwide concierge service. Air, land, sea, rivers, resorts, locally, nationally and internationally. Remember that number, 844 249 0190. Hey! What's up, folks? Hi, Beer and Sunshine friends. We're here with the mayor of Clearwater. This nice. is George Criticus. Good and, afternoon. Uh, yeah, thank you, George. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by to say hello. No, we're excited to have you all here in downtown Clearwater. We've got a great crowd already. It's early in, in the afternoon. We're going to be here all night I celebrating. Know. Do, you, do you feel like this is your baby, like you just gave birth to this little event here? Uh, I, I can't take credit for it. In all honesty, we've had a lot of people from the mm -hmm. downtown partnership and our city staff that have been working hard well, if, together. If you have had any hand in hiring the folks in, in that work for the city, you've done a great bang-up job because Jay and Seth and some of the other folks that we've uh, interacted with are just wonderful people. Yep. Great people, I'm sure. Did you see the show that they were on? They were on our live show? Or, or, you know, J Jay Pogles, I call him the Energizer Bunny. He yeah. is. He just does He's not stop. Non -stop. He's an animal. Yeah, He's an he animal. Is. He's and, crazy. And Seth has just joined us from uh, New York. Uh, he yeah. just moved down yeah. here with his family. And we're excited to have him here to work on our CRA, our downtown district, to help revitalize for uh, the whole community. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been talking with, with neighbors here in town, and we've decided that downtown, everybody has his own neighborhood right. and loves where they live, you know, here in Clearwater or, or wherever yeah. your yeah. home is but we're going to have downtown Clearwater become everybody's second neighborhood yes, yes. And, and get that excitement here so that you know you can live here you can work here you can play here Georgia right. I, I know I look like I'm 22 years old but I'm I'm actually going to be 47 this year <laughs> and I, I came here when I was 19 years old <clears throat> my, my folks are living in Madeira Beach um, my little brother and I would, I, I had this beat up old 67 square back wagon, this little Volkswagen, look at a, like a surf mobile. I bought it for $100 off a guy I worked with at a, at a Bally's Health Club here <laughs> in, in Largo. We used to drive out to Clearwater Beach and uh, in, what was that, 99? So in 99, Clearwater Beach was the, it, it was the destination for, for young, dumb, you know, Not, you know, 19, 20 it, year olds. It still is the destination. It still is. It, it's, yeah. it's, I guess, thank goodness you guys, uh, you know, put the brakes on that whole situation because it was out of control back in those days. But I, I, even then, at that age, I thought, driving through downtown Clearwater, how come there is nothing here that is like, how come this is not some huge party destination? There aren't tons of businesses and lots of fun stuff to do. And having these guys on our show to find out that it's going to happen. It's yeah. going to happen. Gonna happen. We're so excited to be part of this, George. And, and you know, Super really, pumped. all of Pinellas County is working hard to develop niche destinations. And through, for example, the beer, Gulf Coast Beer Trail, I think mm -hmm. they're calling it. You know, we're going to try to market the entire county through our Tourist Development Council so that people will understand. You know, yes, you come to the beach and you're going to enjoy yourself at right. the best beaches in the country. But Lit other, literally. It's yeah, probably yeah. probably one of the top ten beaches in the country. Oh, literally. absolutely. We, we've already been, your trip advisor has already named Clearwater Beach the best beach destination nice. in the country. Uh, USA Today had a poll, and Clearwater Beach came out to be the best place to Wait, watch a sunset. George, I live in Sarasota, which oh, still has we, the we sign. We will not hold that against <laughs> you. <laughs> it still has the sign, number one beach in, in America, right? But... I, I'm not a, really a beach guy myself. I'm a beach bar guy. So when I want to go to the beach, I come actually do come up here and go to Clearwater and hang out with my friends that live in the Clearwater area, you know what I mean? And we visit all the different establishments that are there. I mean, like a bunch of tourists, like a, like a bunch of uh, snowbirds, snowbirds, our Canadian yeah. friend snowbirds, here, right. she knows. Yeah. Are you from Canada? I'm from Canada. What part? I'm from Nova Scotia. Okay. 
you know, we, we're very close with Toronto here in Pinellas County with the Dunedin Blue Jays and the Toronto Blue Jays well, see, having and, spring training here. And when when we first came here, I moved here in my and with my husband, and we went to um, Dunedin. Well, right. And we were walking around, and I'm like, I felt like I was at home because Dunedin is Scottish and Nova Scotia is New Scotland. New Scotland. Yeah. So and like Caledonia Brewing, we have a Caledonia at home. Okay. Yeah. So. It's yeah, like home to it, me, it, yeah. It, and that's, it goes back to what I was saying about where we want downtown Clearwater to become your second neighborhood. Oh, yeah. So that you feel at home in downtown yeah. Clearwater. I can't wait. It's going to happen. You know, I can feel it. It is. It's going to You know, Seth, Seth has that dynamite behind him. Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, and he he's does. got a great staff working with yeah. him. So, you know, we're, we'll have some bumps in the road like anybody. We're going to, you know, trying to get people to move downtown, to start living downtown. Uh, we've got a new housing project, uh, apartment complex. I see, you know, when I was driving in here this morning, <clears throat> I noticed that, you know, Cleve Cleveland is definitely the most hopping area of the downtown, as far as I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Uh, this La Fondita restaurant, I gave them a plug a minute ago. The food is unbelievable. I know, it's Gosh. amazing. My, we have some friends who are Puerto Rican. My, my family's a bunch of okay. New York Puerto Ricans. And they say that this is the place That's, to go. that's the place. No, no, yeah, they're, yeah. they're outrageous. So outrageous. Yeah. I think they're getting ready to celebrate a uh, an anniversary next weekend. Are they? Good go for them. Nice. Come back I will. I yes. bring my mother, who lives in Largo, who's a Puerto oh, Rican, well, and I will <laughs> bring her. But, yeah, you know, it's a done deal. George, outside of this area, I, I look and I like see so much opportunity. Like, there, like there's all these cool little shops that are like there's nothing there, there's nothing going on. I see these uh, like cool condos or apartments or something right. being built over here. I mean, I can just I can I see the vision. Th this place is going to blow up and be just incredible. Yeah, it is really well. Definitely. I think so. Right. And, yeah. and we're, I know Jay uh, with the uh, partnership is working real hard on trying to get a craft brewery, you know, to relocate downtown. Well, here. Oh no, and that's and, the thing. And I think that if you get if you get one and especially like a brewery that's going to bring other businesses yeah. to come in and then those businesses are going to bring other businesses and that's going to bring people to live here right. that's all it takes and then oh, once yeah. it starts oh, booming yeah. Yeah. and that's yeah. it and we have a new, another new restaurant that's opening that's real popular on the beach clear sky yes is, is yes I heard the of diner yeah. so whenever yeah. i so my my good buddies lived out in clearwater beach for for i i, I don't know over 10 years or something pardon me and uh whenever i come out here to visit him a lot of times i would get uh uh, I'll have, have a little too much fun, and I can't I can't drive home, so I stay at his place, right? The first thing we do when we get up, I, well, as soon as I roll off his couch, he's like, get dressed, we're going to Clear Sky, and we have breakfast there. Their, their Bloody Marys are uh, like a meal. All by themselves, they're amazing. Now, it, it's still early in the afternoon. Yes. Okay. And understand you can never have too much fun in Clearwater. <laughs> that's right. true. You just there's so many hotels. Yes. You know, yeah. There's so you many just hotels. Have to be careful. That's right. Yeah. Well, okay. there's, there's always a place to stay. I mean, you, you can't just hotels for days there. Yeah. Uh, what is that? A uh, Shepherds? Shepherds? Shepherds there in the beach? Yeah. Gosh, I I've never been kicked out of there, but I know some people that have. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, last night the Threshers, the minor league team, okay. had um, a, a game that got suspended because of the rain, which obviously we needed. Um, Oh, no, but, we but, need the rain so bad. But then they had an EDM concert uh -huh. afterwards. Yeah. They brought uh, this young fellow from the University of Miami who's originally from Pittsburgh, and his band is called um, Yard House. Yard House, huh. And then the headliner, he was, uh, Yard House was the opening act, and then they had Sunburn. Now, I did not know Sunburn. I don't know any any of these but that you just said. I have friends that will know, but oh, yeah, I, yeah. Apparently, this guy Sunburn is popular all across the country. He's uh -huh. in Los Angeles, and he's coming back to Shepherds in July. I used to be big into the the, the you know, uh, well, I, I used to always call it techno music, but you right. know, EDM. EDM yeah. I, I Electronic used to be, dance music. Yes, I, I used yeah. to be big into that for many years. I have a lot of friends that still are into it. That are you know, they're forty something year olds, um, but so I'm a little out of out of touch with it. But that was a big part of, uh, you know, my my heyday, party day, my 20s and, and some of my early 30s was all about the electronic dance right. music and a lot of the different nightclubs and things. There used to be some crazy nightclub downtown here that I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure they're shut down now. Yeah. But it was the only thing, the only like nightclub that I think that I can remember since, you know, 99 or something 
that has ever existed down here that was a, like a, a lot of fun and people it's, it's see, funny see it. though like Tommy's telling a story and he's saying 1999 <laughs> and I know that that's 20 some odd years ago <laughs> but you know what when somebody says 1999 in your head don't you think man that was just yesterday it kind you of know well, what yeah. I mean it, and we're in now in 2017 state, you know, it's I, like I, you know I'm of age you no, know, no. So, so <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember the, what the the nightclub that you're talking about. I do remember the Star Spectacular that WLCY Radio used to have. Right, where are you, here. George? Where are you from? originally? Trumpet Springs. You're you're you're, you're Floridian. I'm, I'm a native. Oh, oh my okay. goodness! How long? So, I'm super ignorant when it comes to everything, really. But but. <laughs> How, how long have you how long, except, how long have you been the mayor? How long? On live TV, nice. <laughs> except for good places to go eat and yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, it, how long have you been the mayor? Uh, I got elected in 2012. Okay. So okay. I'm in my second term now. In your second term, yeah. nice. Yeah. How long do you plan on being the mayor? Uh, how does that work? Do you, you get kicked uh, out after the second one? See, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the law says I can only be mayor for eight years, two terms. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, like the president. And so, so so it doesn't matter how good of a job you're doing after eight years, that's it? I, I, no matter how good okay, of a George, job. Okay, George, that's unfair. That, no, no. <laughs> that is unfair. Well, He's I a good appreciate fair. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, but I think people get tired of you after a while. Oh. And, and you know, Who can get tired of this? But, exactly. But, but, if you're doing a also, good job, then but, why but would they get also, tired of that? It, it's also good to have young, fresh faces who haven't been around to come in and get involved in government. You know, the one thing that I try to do with I'm, when I'm with, with the school group is make sure that the child understands that, you know, government is approachable. Yeah. And yeah. Government is you. And if you don't participate, then it's your fault. Exactly. And so that's why I lo I mean I don't like term limits, you know. I would be a benevolent dictator, you know. But Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're the president of Clearwater. <laughs> well, yes, thank you. Exactly. Done, thank you. He's the president of Clearwater, folks. <laughs> hail the hail, hail the chief. Yes. Chief George. <laughs> Mayor of Clearwater. Man, I I I'm not I'm not I'm not exaggerating. We've talked to uh, uh, quite a few people here, maybe six or seven people. Yeah. I think George may be the seventh. George has been the most fun person to talk yes, to. Yes, George, you're amazing. He's been the, even the easiest person to talk yeah. to, and I kind of feel like we, we should just sit here and talk all day. Yeah. But, of course, you're a busy man. You're the president of Clearwater, darn it. You've got things to do. <laughs> so There's beer to drink. Are you, make, are you making your, uh, we were, your rounds? We're going to make a quick round. I, nice. I, I, I've got to tell you all a funny story. Sure. sure. Yeah. Which, which yeah, when my sister was born and she was baptized we lived in a house in Harvard that was my father was born in and mom and dad had just finished varnishing the floors and we were having the reception after Leah's baptism at the house daddy gave me a sip of a beer and then somebody called me and I started running to this person and I slipped and fell oh. and I hit my head oh. well after that I you know how things get in your mind right sure can't drink beer if I drink, oh, if no. I drink beer I will fall <laughs> <laughs> and hurt my head oh, yeah, that's half true that. George yeah, it is half true it, 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 you're not it, the it, only person to fall and hurt your head after having some yeah, beer yeah but, but at five you know and it took me until I got into college before I started, you know, drinking. Oh, hey, you got back beer. up on the horse, George. You know, yes. the, 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 the craft beer brewery business, mm -hmm. you know, it has become, um, it's become a, a trendsetter. Yeah. And it's it attracts businesses and it gives people a take, an entirely different perspective. Absolutely. So I, I'm hoping that we can succeed in getting one oh, here in downtown so Clearwater we, to we start, love. you know, this revival. Yeah, I, it's going to happen. There's no question in my yeah. mind it's going to happen. And the cool thing is that the craft beer scene, uh, there's a different mentality that people have when they go to a craft brewery. It, it, it's almost like, you know, you've always thought of wine people, the wine connoisseurs, as being a little bit uppity. And, uh, you know, they're all about, you know, sniffing the wine, sticking their nose in and all that. Well, the craft beer scene, really, it's kind of the same thing. You're there to appreciate, uh, you know, the, the, the artisan, you know, artisanal, uh, you know, uh, everything that goes into making craft beer. You, and you and that's a good point, Tom, because, you know, it, it takes a special talent yes. to do a craft beer. Yeah, it you does. Know, oh, yeah. it, it's not like being a big brewery, oh, yeah. like an Anheuser right, brewery right, or, right. or whatever, you know. Well, uh, yeah. George, we thank you so much for well, being I part of this. Yeah. We have to, of course, take a break and uh, 
you know. Yeah, we're going to go back to, I think, our show from last okay. night or something. But thank you so much right. for talking thank, to us. Thank you very much for letting me be part here. Thank, thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, George. And we'll be back. Oh! <laughs> thank you. We'll be back with uh, some more guests later on in our show. <laughs> Jackie Skelton from JR World Travel here. If you travel, you need a licensed professional travel consultant, not a computer. Your licensed professional consultant can get you more for your time and your money. Value for your money and experience, not marketing salesmanship. When you're sick, you call the doctor. When you need legal advice, you call an attorney. So the next time you want to go on any type of travel, call your licensed professional travel consultant who actually represents you. We specialise in group travel, family reunions, weddings, to escorting large groups or making special arrangements for the disabled. Please call 844-249-0190. We are a full service travel consultancy offering worldwide concierge service. Air, land, sea, rivers, resorts, locally, nationally and internationally. Remember that number, 844-249-0190. And we're back live at the uh, <laughs> Downtown Clearwater Beer and, and Music Festival, and we have Josh from Tomoka. Yes, Tomoka Brewery. We are at Port Orange, Florida, which is just south of Daytona Beach. Wow, nice. so you guys came all the way over here for this? Uh, nice. Not me, per se. I actually live in the Dunning area, but I'm the southwest rep. Oh, so okay. I've got all the way from Pasco, all the way down to Naples, and uh, over to Port St. Lucie. Pretty right, much so J.J. Taylor's full uh, map and everything. Yeah, so I've, I've got two buddies that work for J.J. Taylor okay. that are, uh, I, I guess they're like, um, you know, uh, route guys, route okay. sales guys, some, something like that. I hope I'm not describing it no. wrong. <laughs> on the thirtieth, on the thirtieth, they're going to be uh, guest on our show. Okay. The get, yeah. Cool. Uh, we nice. got to get you on the show. If you're the local guy, yeah. you got to come be oh, on the show. Yeah. No problem. We'll, we'll give you free beer. Rather, you give us free beer. <laughs> yes. You bring us beer. Hey, bring I, us beer, and we'll I help can. you drink it and describe I, it. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. But, Friday, uh, Friday night, eight o'clock. So we shoot live out of Hudson. Could you do that? It's not too far for you. No, no, I, I don't. Let me. I got. Let me check my 
calendar and everything. If yeah, I don't have sure. anything going on, I will give you a Christina, card. Yeah. You email me, let me know what Perfect. day works for you, absolutely. and we can do it up for sure. Yeah, We'd love absolutely, that not a problem. So Thank how you long guys. have you been with Tomoka? Um, I've been with Tomoka for about six months, and uh, but I've been in this industry for about going on 12 years. Wow. I mean, I used to work at uh, Great Bay Distributors and everything, and grew accustomed to watching this. Uh, this industry grow and it's been beautiful to be five ten years ago that this industry would be the way it is never i, I would have taken that bet and said you're insane get right. away from me future get person right. <laughs> no we we no. say it pretty much every single time we're on camera i feel like we have to say this all the time because it's mind-blowing we started this thing a year ago. Mm -hmm. There was about 40 breweries. Now there's over 160. <laughs> We're gonna hit the 200 mark in probably six months or something. It's retarded. It's. Oh, I know. It's and every time you, every time we turn around and talk to somebody else, they're like, "Hey, have you heard of this brewery?" And we're like, yeah. uh, "No." It's, you know, it's like amazing. <clears throat> and I mean, everybody has something. It's it's craft brew, so everybody has something different to oh, offer. Oh yeah. I mean, I've tasted a lot of craft brew, and I don't think she I've was ever, not even a beer drinker. Beer drinker. Until she started doing this. Yeah, and I. Oh, they, it's been... they all have their own unique flavor. It's whatever you put into it. Oh yeah. So I mean, you, you could drink 20 craft beers easy, and none of them are going to taste. None the of same. them. Even none even if them. they say they're the exact same they're not. thing, they're not going to no. be. It's it's so many different intricate ways of brewing that every brewmaster or assistant brewer does, and that's what's so great about this industry is everything seen says it's the same but it's totally not what's no. your josh I mean, what's your what's your favorite type of beer or, or do, you, do you have one porters porters, porters. Porter guy? Okay. absolutely i mean I, i'm not a very um, ipa friendly person per se i know don't like the hoppy stuff I, 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 not the bitterness the end yeah. of it and everything like that like red wine i'm not a red wine drinker because i don't like the dryness at the end but you give me a multi um coffee chocolate porter mm. something of that nature mm -hmm. That's all I need. That's it's really it's all I need. And what is Tomoka known for? What kind Tomoka, of beers do they, we are, do they produce? We are mainly known for our Berliners. Don't be offended by those oh, red no, line here. That's fine with me. We're, we're definitely known for our Berliners and everything. We have a seasonal um, of them right now. Right now we're pouring our Florida Strawberry Weiss. I mean, just Plant City Strawberries with right. a tad bit of um, uh, tartness at the end. It is. It is incredible. I mean, we have a grape, we have a tangerine, and we have a blueberry that we do all oh, seasonally. Fun, like and summer refreshing exactly. stuff. Nice. You have, you have nice. to have that type of beer when you're in Florida. I mean, granted, you're going to have your stouts, your Russian Imperials, everything, but you need to have your, what's today, a hundred and something degrees probably? Yeah. You have to have refreshing beer. you got to have that low alcohol, that beer you can drink more of. Exactly. So... If you're not doing that and doing that correctly, you, you, you need the, you're gonna get the outdoor out beer festival, yes. sitting by the pool, nice and cold, refreshing. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. It's just yeah. I mean, but then again, like I said, we're known for our wises and everything. We do a um, a uh, Thai chili goes that is just out of really? this world. Oh yeah. But goes are sour. Yes. Kind of right. We, that's a what, Thai chili a goes. Thai chili inspired sour. Woo! How do we get? How do I get my hands in that? How do I try it? Um, do I have to go across the state no, of Florida to go get some? Any uh, sort of wine. Really? We, we can it and everything. It's it's one of those, anytime I do a sampling at a total wine or anything like that, I'll have it. People see it. Nice. It's like, okay, I have to try that. And it's either a yes or no. There is no gray area with this. Man, you got to come on our show and, and yes, let us I, sample it on the so, show. So what did you bring <laughs> with you today for the uh, festival? What we were pouring right now. Um, we have our strawberry uh, uh, Florida Weiss, so we have that. We have our Oceanside White IPA brewed with Florida Grapefruit. We have our um, Simcoe IPA, just brewed with the um, Simcoe hops. And we have our uh, Mother Fuggle EPA, which is an English Pale Ale brewed with Fuggle hops. Um, we have English uh, malt and English yeast. So nice. it's a very uh, multi, um, not, not per se heavy, but it's a very multi English Pale Ale. And it's 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 been a very good hit and everything like that. Okay, so we've got I'm not sure how many viewers we have, but a lot of times when we do our our live shows, we hit 30, around the 30,000. 30, oh wow! So there's 30,000 people here. Cheers! Can you, can, you, can you give them a commitment that Tomoka will be on one of our live shows? Oh, absolutely! Absolutely! All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. 30,000 people are going to hold you to that. That's fine. <laughs> I only need one, my wife. Oh, so. there you go. And that's Sweet. the only one. Exactly. Bring, exactly. Her. bring her. Bring her. Bring her if you want. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. No. Is she crazy? Awesome. Is your wife a little crazy? 
crazy for what she does for a profession. Yeah, yes. like personality wise. Oh, no, 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 no. Like she goes nuts and. I no, she's she's great, but I mean, like I said, she's very. Uh, so she, she's insane for what she does for a profession, but she's a. What does she do? She's a teacher. My wife's a teacher. <laughs> My wife's crazy for what she does too, but she's very subdued and yeah, like yeah. calm and. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. The straight so, man. She'll be the straight man. We'll bring her. That's fine. Out. I like it. Absolutely. I mean. We'll make it a family show. Not a problem. <laughs> I mean, cool. yeah, we could get it done. I mean, it's 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 a lot windier than I expected today, but it's, it's a beautiful yeah. day. It could, beautiful be, day it could be windier. It's a little hot, but hey, Florida, I know man. they were calling for rain. Later I was worried about later, that, in the day. later in the day, so we're fine. I think we'll beat it. We'll, we'll beat, beat it. it. Yeah, well, but, we thank you so much, Josh, for, yeah, uh, for no coming. No problem, absolutely. That's I, awesome. Okay, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna, I think we're going to cut back to our show to from our last night show or from something. last night. Yeah. All right. Thanks. See you in a minute. Cheers, you guys. And we're back again, Beer and Sunshine friends, here Yay. in downtown Clearwater, with our friend Rick from... Ray. 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 Oh, I thought it was Ray. Rick. No. So close. I literally thought you said Rick like three times. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> well, that's why I switched to Red Bull. <laughs> from 611? 611 Brewery. 611 nice. Brewery. Okay. And they're opening just around the corner. Just around the corner, 525 Cleveland, here in Clearwater. Nice. Great. Yeah. So it's official. So we have breweries coming here, moving into downtown Clearwater. Yes. Right. That's amazing. Yep. That's awesome. Finally. And, and I think... The guys at, uh, at Clearwater, Jay and Seth, the folks we've been talking to, yeah. I think they said they had somebody else's in the works, yep. that, aside from you guys, so there might be two for sure yep. coming down here. The other one's not confirmed, but I think we've got maybe two breweries coming down here. That's nice. We spoke to somebody earlier. I won't say who it was. They're not exactly beer, but they said they might be coming down mm -hmm. here too. Like, that's kind of a, that, I think, 75, 80% there. Yep. So three cool, really yes. cool businesses, yeah. really cool place to hang out. Going to be here in downtown Florida. It's happening, folks. Well, I'm, I met Ray, I would say, was the end of March. Me and my friend yeah. from Nova Scotia, we were at CUNY Brewing. Right. And we met you there, and you had said, I'm not open yet. Yep. I'm going to be opening. You were <laughs> like, look me up. And now you're down yeah, here, and we've got you on the show. So what does 611 stand for? 611 is the first day we all brew together. So that's nice. Yeah. So June the 11th, June 11th was the first yeah. day. So it's you and you have some partners yeah. that are in two, with you. Two business partners. Nice. Matt and and are you are yeah. you all Scottish? We are Scottish Irish. Yeah. I don't know if they're you can see kilt. it, but you they're wearing kilts. Wearing a kilt. That's nice. Okay, <laughs> so I gotta I gotta ask for all the for all the viewers out there. Is it like true kilt? You got nothing on underneath? Oh, I'm wearing boots. <laughs> there you go. He's wearing boots underneath his kilt. That's awesome. So what type of brews are you going to have at 611? We are trying to stick with kind of simple. Um, we're going to have 12 of our own tap, only beers on tap. Okay. Um, we're doing several ales, some Hefeweizen, lagers, stouts. Scottish ales? We're going to do a Scotch ale, yes. Nice. Infused in the bourbon barrels? And the Scotch whiskey e barrels, Eventually, maybe? yes. Nice. Yes. That'll be awesome. Yeah, we, so Ray, Ray are, you, are you guys at a location now? or We're, you guys we're still a brewery and planning. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So what, what, what made you choose the whole downtown Clearwater thing? Uh, opportunity. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm from Dunedin. Okay. There's a lot down there, and they've got amazing beers down there, so I wouldn't even want to try to get in under there. Dunedin is such a fun place. It is. I know. Isn't there, there's what, um, seven? Seven. Seven, yeah. and I think there's maybe one or two more in the works. That's possible. I know, and that's what's that's what's happening. It's homebrewers like yourselves yep. deciding, okay, we're going to open up. And I mean, like you said, you go down to Dunedin, you, got, you can like take an Uber or whatever, Walk around and, yeah. and get them all. All and within one mile. You, you I, I, one mile, yeah. yeah. I, I want to. I want to say this. Anybody that's watching this that doesn't know the Tampa Bay area, r regardless whether you're coming from vacation or something, if you don't live here and you don't really have a lay of the land, there are all these different little townships. You got Tampa. You have St. Pete. You have St. Pete Beach. You have uh, Clearwater. You have Dunedin. And then a ton of other areas oh outside Saint of that. Harbor, I mean, so many. Tarpon Springs. St. Pete, of, Saint, yeah. downtown St. Pete has blown up over the past few years. It is such a destination spot. You can go there. You can walk for, I don't know, for, for miles in every direction. And there's cool restaurants, cool yeah. bars, cool shops. You I go got to, married in St. Pete. So you got, well, St. Well, Pete Beach. beach. You yep. got married in St. Pete Beach. So, yep. so you, now you go to, from St. Pete, 20 minutes down the street to the beach. And at St. Pete Beach, you've got all the coolest beach bars in the world. Mm -hmm. When you think of cool beach bar, you think of places like uh, um, Undertow, 
uh, gee, gosh, there's there's uh, Matt Beach. so many so many cool places there, right? Yeah. And that's like you're drinking on the beach. It's not like across the street from the beach. It's your on toes the are in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. It's like all every country music song ever written was written about <laughs> the, the beach bars in St. Pete Beach, Tampa. Tampa has been a party spot for so many years. You have so many different pockets. Ebor City. Uh, well, Ebor the, City is a huge party <laughs> Channel, town. Channel side, yeah, downtown, yeah. Uh, South Tampa, Hyde Park, uh, the west part of Tampa, everywhere. Now, uh, you go to Dunedin. Dunedin has all the breweries. Dunedin has all the cool little shops, and it's, it's just quaint and gorgeous and on the water. It's beautiful. And Scottish. Well, and, and Scottish. And Scottish. Yeah. And Dunedin also is part of that huge bike trail, and I think yeah. the bike trail yeah. goes all the way down to Sarasota, does uh, it uh, not? Pinella, no, Pinella's trail well, no, yeah, goes Pinella's from trail. Tarpon to St. Pete. Right. Yeah, not, not, not 42 Sarasota. Miles. Yeah, 22 miles. <clears throat> 42. That, uh, 42. Yeah. Wow. The Sunshine Skyway is the only way over from St. Pete to Sarasota, unless you're coming all the way from Tampa down well, like see, I'm Canadian. I'm still working on the whole kilometers, <laughs> kilometers thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about a block and a half up is the Pinellas Trail. Oh, so, okay, nice. You know, biker, bikers can come down to our brewery. And, That's great. And last but not least, we have downtown Clearwater here, right. which has been an accident waiting to happen for a long time, and a friendly accident at that. This place is going to blow up and be just amazing. I mean, you can go across the bridge, five minutes behind us is one of the best beaches in the world yeah. and you've got beach bars there and all kinds of cool places frenchies um gosh shepherds i mean it's just, it's just so many awesome places but this downtown spot is is i think where it's all going to be going on oh, yeah, it's, real it's soon waiting. real oh, soon yeah, well, and no. you know what happens when you open a brewery people start coming back to downtown exactly. and then businesses follow so. yeah yeah exactly yeah. you gotta get you gotta get the brewery yep and then that'll bring the other businesses and that'll bring people moving in and that'll bring people coming to visit i mean they already come here for the beach yeah and then they hop on the trolley and they go somewhere else yeah. to yep. eat and stuff yep. well, now we got to keep them here once they're here yeah. we got to keep them yeah. here and keep, i mean getting breweries like yourself yeah. and other ones it's going to keep well that's another here. thing that i'm working with some of the breweries in dunedin is to get a uh, trolley pump from st pete to clearwater to dunedin yeah, that'd be great. to palm harbor and Harbin. so you would just pay so much to get on yep. and just do the whole trolley bar yep. hopping exactly Fantastic. Yeah, because we're gonna we have a jolly trolley stop right in front of our. Location. I think there I think go. the trolley should have a slogan: "Walk on, fall off." Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Well, it, it, we don't want anybody to get quick. hurt. <laughs> yeah. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So, um, so are you open now, or you're in the process no, of opening? We're in the process now. We're gonna be signing the lease this month. Nice. And we'll start everything then, and probably in six months. Okay. Now, are you gonna are you gonna brew in yep. in that building as well, and then have your taps? Yep. Yeah, we'll That's have, fantastic. like I said, we'll have 12 of our own beers. We'll have cider and wine. Okay, so you're going to bring other, you're going to have guest taps in as well as your own? Or? That's debatable. That's debatable. Yeah, we still okay. haven't decided. Okay, that's awesome. Well, that's awesome that you guys are going to be like moving here. You'll probably be the first one, yep. which will bring some other ones. That's fantastic. Yeah. We have a live show um, on We Being TV on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for guests. Would you be interested in coming on? Absolutely. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Yay! When the wind isn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're inside on a Friday night, so that wouldn't be so bad. Well, I need to wear a kilt. I do need yeah. to wear a kilt. Wear I would a wear a kilt. Absolutely. The only thing I will not wear are those, what are those jumper things called? Romp him. Romp him. <laughs> Romp him. No romp, yeah. no romp him here. No. Nope. No thanks. No. Nope. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. Well, you know what? It was funny when I had ran, run into you and you had said that you were going to be opening. And I remember saying to Billy, I'm like, when he opens, we have to uh, get him on the show. Yeah. We got you on the Just show. When you have your grand opening, we will definitely have you on our show. I think I'd be show. the first Puerto Rican to wear a kilt. You never I'm know. Down with that that all happen. day long. I that love it. Happen. Yeah. So it's going to be 611. 611. It's going to be open down yep. here. Yes. Everybody's got to come down to. Uh, right now we're on Facebook. That's the only only kind of advertising we're doing that. And we've been to three different festivals now okay. here in downtown. Um, people, well, the businesses and, are really excited about it. Beer and sunshine. Down. We're always happy to promote craft brewers and craft craft beer. So like us on Facebook. We will yep. like you whenever you have an event. We will share it with everybody and. I will get a hold of you, and you can come and be on our, our live show once you yeah. guys get You have running. to be on our show now. You just told like 30,000 people exactly. that you'll be on our They're show. Hold you to it. <laughs> and you got to bring us beer when you come. Yeah. 
I've got beer down there. <laughs> whoa, whoa. But yes, I'll bring you some more. That is fantastic. We're, our cooler's getting full. People yeah. keep giving us beer. I like it. It's a good That's day. Awesome. It's a real good day. Yeah. Maybe yeah. after these guys all pack up and leave, we'll just hang out here and pretend yeah, this, that we're doing a show. Exactly. Be a fake camera. This is the after festival beer. party, right? Yeah. The after festival yeah. party, yeah. Well, thanks so much, Ray, for joining us. And congratulations Thank on you. opening your brewery down here in uh, downtown Clearwater. No more live feed. We're done for the day. This whole uh, downtown Clearwater inaugural uh, brew and music festival is really outrageous. We found out today for sure that while the city of Clearwater wants to blow this place up with breweries and really cool fun bars and businesses and just lots of activities, uh, we have two breweries that are moving in and another uh, another business that's not not brewer, not beer related but uh, it's, it's a fun drinking alcohol, establishment. Alcohol related? Yeah, it's a good time. So this is happening folks. This downtown Clearwater thing is happening. It's going to be it's a hopping. destination. It's Ho happening. Hoppening. Hoppening, yeah. But uh, as always, thanks for checking us out. We're Beer yep. and Sunshine. Beer for breweries, Sunshine for Florida. And thank you to uh, WeBeam TV, John and his crew. Yep, Tampa Bay Multimedia. Check yep. us out on Fridays, live, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time at WeBeamTV.com. You can watch our old older episodes. We've been doing this for a little while now. We've got all sorts of content for you to check out um, on uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Lots of different places. If you want to buy a cool t-shirt, yep. says Beer and Sunshine. If you want to be one of the uh, smooth operators here at Beer and Sunshine, just go to beerandsunshinestore.com. And it's a terrible, ugly-looking website with some beautiful people. Yes. Uh, but, you know, go come buy a t-shirt. Support us. Help us out here because, uh, you know, these guys ain't cheap. These are pros. This is yep. why the, everything looks so good. So they make us look good. Yeah, and uh, if uh, anybody knows of any breweries that they want to see on our show as a guest, yeah. drop us a line. You can message us on Facebook or you can email Tommy at Tom at beer and sunshine dot beer or me, Christina at beer and sunshine dot beer and let us know. Yeah, do that. Yeah, we'll there, get out there. Yeah. There's so many breweries here in the Tampa area and it's really hard for us to reach everybody. Yeah. Um, Seeing how it went from 40 some odd to like 160. I know. We it's, can't be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> You know, we want to be everywhere. Exactly. We want to meet everybody. We want to meet every brewery in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, we want our shirts being sold everywhere and all those different breweries. You got a favorite brewery? Tell them about us. Tell yes. them to check us out. Tell them to get a hold of us. And, uh, you know, we're happy to come, come to you as well. We'll come to your favorite brewery and, and shoot something live there. Give us a shout. Reach out to us. We'll be there. All right. But thanks again. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And have a beer-tastic day. See you next time. See you Friday. Well, we sure had fun when we were down in Clearwater, and I hope that you enjoyed it, too. Be sure to join us next week when we will be broadcasting live on WeBeam TV, and our guests will be Marker 48. Until then, have a beer-tastic day.